Okay, now we're on to the flowchart for our uh, problem. Uh, the flowchart here looks kind of crazy, and that's because uh, I need to get this video done and without a half hour uh, for it to take. So what I've done is I've built all the elements, and then I'm just going to build it. By now, you should be able to do an input, yada, yada, yada. So let me explain how you would build this, um, if you would, look at it like this. So the first thing we're going to do is put in our assumptions and then how we're going to initialize the loop and that is using another load equals yes then i created the loop with another load equals yes and it put in there a way to get out of the loop and that is another load okay and then the last thing i'm going to do is add an output right here and that one is going to be our usual done looping All right, so this is the first step. Ignore all this down here. Let me put it up here. Okay, so this is our first step. We want to build this and get into there. Now we want to see if this loop is going to work. So I'm going to hit the Run button. It's going to ask me if there's another load. That means that I did get into the loop okay. And then if I say yes, it's going to ask me again. That means I could stay in the loop. So that's the second test. The last test is I'm going to put in no and see if done looping comes up. And that means I've been able to successfully get in the loop, stay in the loop, and get out of the loop. Now I don't want it to run the rest of the stuff, so I'm just going to hit the stop button here. And now, now we're ready to move on. All right, so now that I have that, the next thing I want to do is make sure that my counter works. So again, from our problem statement, we can see that we have a counter. So I'm going to put an assignment in there for the counter. Now I need to know if that counter works. So what I'm going to do is find my counter output. I'm going to cut this out and paste it right here. So this is our next step. I add, and this is the build and test methodology that's so important. If you're not building and testing, it's taking you way too long. Because if you do the whole thing and it doesn't work, you can spend hours and hours and hours, maybe days, trying to figure out what's wrong. But if you build and test, you build a component, you test that component. If it works, you move on. If it doesn't work, you know exactly what went wrong, the last thing that you added. So now let's go ahead and test this one. Number of loads equals one. That means I've gotten in and it did the counter. I click OK. Then I say yes. There's load two, so I know my counter is working. I don't have to do anything else. So I just hit stop. All right, and let's go ahead and build the next piece of the puzzle. So the next piece of this puzzle is this decision right here. So let's go ahead and and also put in these inputs. So we have to get the inputs, these decisions, and then we're ready to move on. Okay, so again, I've already done that. So we need to get these uh, inputs. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these paste these here. Um, I'm putting them underneath loads because whenever we're counting the number of loops, it's always good to put your counter at the very top. And you always want to put this input for going around again at the very bottom. Everything else really doesn't make a difference um, necessarily or what order. All right, then the next thing we want to do is grab our decision. And again, if you were doing this, you'd be actually building it. But by now, you should know how to make decisions and how to make assignments. So I'm going to go ahead and copy or cut this and paste it into here. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taken two of our outputs and that is the um, Acme Rock Acume and the ta uh, Town Acume and I've put those outputs up in here so I can test to see, make sure that this is all working correctly. And now I can go ahead and test it and I'm going to say Acme, and I'm going to say 10, so I got 10, and then I'll say yes, and then I'll say Acme, and I'll say 5, and there's 15, so I know that that accumulator is working correctly. 
And so the next thing I'm going to do is might as well keep going. Yes, I have to test both sides. And this is the town. And that's 10. So that's 10. And then yes. And then town. And then 5. And I use different numbers to make sure that um, each of my inputs are being added. All right, so there's 15. So I know both of these are all working absolutely correctly, and I'm ready to build on my next step. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Stop button. And the next step is um, to add this math. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add the math. So let's get over here. This is going to be a little more difficult. I'm going to grab all the math and then all the outputs. Um, I could test it by building this and adding an output. And in fact, I do that in the classroom. That's a good way of doing it. But again, I'm going to run out of time if I do that here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add all of these in. And I add them in underneath our decision. Paste. So normally, it, it does take a lot of time if I add this and then add the output and then test it and then add the next math and the next one. You could probably do it this way without doing the um, build and test. So the only thing I'm going to want to do is let's do number of loads and move this up to here. That just seems to make a little bit more sense. And now I can go ahead and run it. So I have Acme 10. So I got that math is working, right? It's 500 times 10 and then no rocks. And then the surcharge is $500. So 5,000 10% of that is 500. And the total amount we have so far is five, uh, 5,500. So you can see everything's working. And then I, yes, and I just got to go ahead and test the town, town. And the weight on that is going to be 10 also. So that's going to be rock by the town is 10. We had 10, uh, the Acme is 5,000. The town is 5,000. The surcharge stays 500 because the town is in charge surcharge. And then we have um, the total money is going to be 10,000 for the town, 10,000 for Acme, and $500 for the surcharge. So 10,500 actually works perfectly. And then I'll say no, and then I'll go ahead and stop the program. So then I have my done looping. I just need one of those. All right, so this is how everything is going to work, but this is not our final way of doing things. We don't want these pop-ups popping up in our code. Um, and this math and these outputs shouldn't be in the loop. They should be outside the loop. But for the flow chart, I don't care because I'm using this to test my theory that this is the solution I want to use for this. So once I have it like this, I don't bother taking the things that don't belong here and taking them out of the flow chart because when I code it, the first time I code it, I'm going to code it exactly this way so I can test all the components inside the loop and then move them outside the loop for my final um, production model of my code. But nobody sees my flow chart. This is just for me to see that if I code everything this way, that everything will work out absolutely perfectly. So I'm done. Now I need to code this um, flowchart. And that'll be our next step.